Here we go, time to lock in the side plank just to begin this workout. So I just wanna focus on keeping those hips up, focus on deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, and squeeze those glutes nice and tight just to maintain your posture throughout. In this way, it'll prevent the hips from actually dropping. You're gonna do both sides. So this is just a quick turnaround to the opposite side. And then as you're just focusing on your breath, squeezing those glutes, just start thinking about something else. Maybe it's the music that you're listening to. Just kind of get your head out of your body, just to help the time go back faster. As you get into that meditative breathing state, Now these isodyne squats are really designed to just help you get the most out of these types of squats, specifically when you don't have any external weight. So you're gonna start off the set just by holding the mid position. Focus on driving those knees out, deep breaths. After you're doing a specific amount of time on that hold, you're gonna complete with the specific amount of reps. So it's a hold at least 10 seconds long in the beginning of the set, followed by the number of reps to complete. In regards to the squat form itself, you just wanna drop down as low till you feel that the thighs are about parallel with the ground. Again, make sure that the back stays tight, nice and straight, and then squeeze the glutes at the top of every motion, at the top of every rep. Box breathing is not easy to do, yet it is very effective to really relax and start to calm the body. It's just a great way to restart your recovery so that you can hit the next set ready to go. So adhere to the time tempos. It's five seconds for the breath in, five seconds of a hold after you breathe in. So this is before the exhale. Then five seconds on the exhale, and then hold that after the full exhalation for five seconds without breathing in. So Exhale. there you go, there's the four steps to the, to the motion, Three, to the breathing two, technique. One, and just do four, your best to stick to the five three, seconds for each two, part of it. Again, one, it's a bit of a challenge, inhale. especially if you've never done this before. Three, but this is gonna two, help get you one, recovered four, a bit faster for that next set. Three, two, one. Exhale. Three, two, one. Hold. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Kicking off with the classic cardio exercise, the jumping jacks. So just keep the arms and the legs moving. That's about it. With the one leg glute thrust, you really want to focus on driving through the stable leg, through the leg that's on the ground. Drive that leg into the ground as you lift up as high as possible, and you want to squeeze that corresponding glute. So if the right leg is on the ground, you really want to focus on getting a great squeeze in that right glute as you drive the hips as high as you can. Of course, you're going to do both sides on this one. So with these push-ups, you could do it at varying angles. So if you have trouble doing a full push-up from the ground, make sure you set yourself up on a chair or on a counter. Main thing is that you just wanna keep the core tight, keep the elbows close to the body, and then complete all reps. Get down to a nice full squat, and then you just wanna drive up, get as high as possible with each jump. Keep it continuous.
box are great for the shoulders, glutes, and core. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna raise opposite leg and opposite arm. Lead with the back heel and lead with the thumb of the hand. And you wanna raise up as high as you can. Just focus on getting the tension in that corresponding shoulder and in the glutes to both sides. With your cross lunges, you want to be alternating from leg to leg and you're going to take your back knee just a little bit beyond your front heel as you do this. Make sure you, again, with the back and with the chest, with your upper body, just keep it nice and upright as you're completing the set. 